pledge my life, O Lucian. Fuck rabbits are stupid. They're jumping into the fog to impress the does, but I've yet to see any of them come back. Very bad has happened in the harbor. Travel, they say. See all the wonders of the world, they say. Well, looks like we're celebrating Lucian's day with a shipwreck. It ain't over till the hammer lady sings. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I heard someone say that once. There's also another lady on my mind, of course. Justinia. A reckoning's coming for her. And his name is Beast. Ah, uh, so much for sounding cool. I've never been very good at coming up with a snappy catchphrase on the spot. Why don't you give it a try? Now I wish I hadn't asked. Beast's slight smirk and slow wink tell you he meant his words in jest. Given all that's transpired, you find his jocularity comforting. I didn't need to show any more to you than you've shown to me. Besides, the Order needs someone to lead them for the long haul. I don't need divinity to do what's right for my people. In case you hadn't noticed, a divine is a lot of things, but they're sure no free. And honestly, what kind of man would I be if I abandoned divinity once I got what I wanted? Hey, everything okay? Well, I'm still quite keen on getting this parasite out of my head. First that, then Dallas. Oh? Her mouth twitches. We don't need to talk about that. You're an adult. I'm an adult. The heart wants what it wants. You can't make someone feel something they don't. And that night... Well, it was clear to me how you felt. She puts a hand over her eyes. Her eyes get misty, then quickly clear. She smiles. Too bad. Please, speak. Last I heard, Godhood awaits. If only we can wrest it from Dallas. First, we find her. Then, we roll for the greatest fate of them all. By all means. Oh my, someone in need of a lick and cuddle. Her face is straight, but her eyes dance with mirth. <laughs> Aren't you sweet? She steps close to you and places a long hand on your cheek. Her great cat-like eyes peer into yours. She kisses you, biting your lower lip as she pulls away. Hmm. Don't think you've seen it all. 
I haven't even nibbled you yet. Like I want to keep exploring. Again. And again. And again. How about you? She curtsies. And my privilege. To be perfectly frank, yes. I only have to do what comes natural to me. Besides, these seven weren't exactly angels. Even gods get their comeuppance. We stand warned, don't we? I don't usually like people, but you smell... acceptable. Ooh, how pensively our shield looks down upon us. Ask away, shield. Indeed. Rather hard to believe, isn't it? I was a devoted follower of the Great Acorn. I believed it was the only way to save the forests from giants. But I was wrong, of course. Sir Laura pats Quercus's flank and smiles wistfully. They put Quercus to the sword just because he was a different species than they. Obscene, isn't it? Well, we made a pact, didn't we, Quercus? If we should perish, we'll face the great unknown together. And until eternity comes for us both, it shall come for neither. Indeed, Quercus. Let's be off. Do this, Grace. I hope Boss understands. I know you. Or... I've heard of you. I'm one of Lohar's, and you did us quite a good turn back in Driftwood. I oh, thank you. She casts her eyes over the wreck below the bridge. After all that's happened, it does me good to see you here. My driver. My cart wolf. Look at them. And for what? Void woke him. Weren't anywhere near us, but old Max sniffed him out anyway. Got so spooked, he pulled my carriage right off the bloody bridge. Pulled my driver off with him. I rolled out in time. Better stranded out here than stuck in a city with a void woken, I suppose. But they deserved better than this. It were a wedding. Event of the season over at Mikhail Ross's estate. We were going in place of our boss. She looks over the wreckage with a grimace. Lord, gnaw my ear off if he could see the shape his emissaries are in. She gives you a sharp look. I suppose you know a little something about a wedding. Isn't that right?
never figured as much. I thought I might meet you here. But the wedding's all yours. I'm not leaving my dog or my driver here. We've been riding together, the three of us. Must be ten years now. After what happened in the caves, well, I ain't abandoning any more of mine to no kind of fate except the one they would have wanted. Good luck. I hope you're made of sterner stuff. Yes. What's this? I found something. A spillage all over the floor. Welcome to the city of Arx.
do this, Grace. I hope Boss understands. Grace, I hope Boss understands. I'll send word home. Don't worry, I'll send word. No sense hanging around here. If the Queen's anywhere, she's inside Arcs. My driver. My cart wolf. Look at them. And... I'll send word home. Don't worry. I'll send word. Wedding can't have gone on after all this. I'll send word home. Don't worry. I'll send word. Doing his grace. I hope Boss understands. Seems the life expectancy of Magisters gets shorter and shorter. The Magister spirit dashes along the foliage beneath the battlements, nearing the bridge. There is a cry from behind. The spirit glances back. Her gaze follows something tumbling from the battlements to the undergrowth. There is the thump of an impact. She continues running. She sprints onto the bridge, but then something grabs her ankle and hoists her into the air upside down. Her screams are drowned out by a monstrous roar. A magister lies sprawled before you. The ground beneath him is stained with his blood. Several grievous wounds are visible across his body. The magister doesn't respond. He just lies there, struggling to draw breath. The magister coughs and splutters as the potion slides down his throat. 
His eyes focus on you, then fill with fear. The Magister accepts your hand and slowly stands while keeping his eye on you. His face remains a mask of fear and distrust. The Paladins attacked our barracks. I tried to flee, but was trapped between the fight and a void woke an attack. I remember pain, and then falling, and then everything went black. Oh, they spewed some nonsense about Magisters collaborating with the Black Ring. They could at least be honest if they just wanted to seize power from us. It all happened so quickly. The Paladins cut down anyone who put up a fight. Magister Raymond and the other Whites vanished. The escape routes were blocked. They must have barricaded themselves away. Magister Raymond? He commanded all of the White Magisters in Arcs. He answered to nobody, except maybe Dallas herself. He must be dead by now, surely. I want no trouble, I swear. I'll leave all this behind and start a new life someplace. Whatever you want, ask. Dallas? I... I don't know. I've never even spoken to the woman. Raymond was the one giving me orders. Raymond and the other Whites. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm never coming back here. I've spotted something. Let's help finish them off.
fading.
Whitting can't have gone on after all this. The life expectancy of Magisters gets shorter and shorter. The girl's spine suddenly arches back at an unnatural angle. A squeal of distress morphs into a deep, throaty chuckle. She straightens and looks at you. Her eyes are black. She is ours. You will not speak to her. You cannot help her. The girl squeezes her eyes shut and bows her head. Her own voice emerges, quavering with stress. I... I can't can do it. I can feel the sunlight and the air and the... The laugh rises once more, and the girl lifts her head. Her gleeful eyes remain pitch black. Fool! She is ours. Any strength is ours. Her eyes clear for just a moment, showing a brief glimpse of the child within. Then the blackness fills them once again, and the demon hisses at you. You give her hope. Good. It will make her spirit all the more delicious for us when she breaks. The child's purity cannot protect her. 
forever. You, you are old and tainted. There is no sport for us in corrupting you. The girl is pure. She is a delicacy. The black eyes churn with intrigue, then flash hungrily. You will do. Enjoy this last moment before we take you. And break you. <laughs> Godwoken, how can I help? Go with honor. Godwoken, how can I help? Go with honor. Hurry along now. Well, that's for you to discover. Take care of your... Arks! Quite a city as I... Why work, of course. Anathema won't restore itself, I dare say. I shall finish what I started. Aboard whatever remains of the Lady Vengeance in the Hall of Echoes. Come and find me later in the Hall of Echoes. I believe I'm rather close to having Anathema in working order. I 
fine thought, don't I? Growing soft, aren't I? I feel awful. Hopefully, Lucian will grant me his blessing. Keep strong. Lucian will preserve you. The spirit of an elf makes a dash for freedom, only for something to seize him and throw him backwards like a rag doll. I've spotted something. The spirit of a lizard struggles to extract his legs from under some ghostly flaming debris. There's a loud crack from overhead. He throws his hands up to shield himself. An avalanche of further spectral debris collapses on top of him. What's on your mind, darling?
the Lord Dread, or what's left of it.